So riding a 100 kilometer ride, that is a big milestone for a lot of people out there. And it was for me a few years ago. But now with my experience over time, those 100k rides are now just a walk in the park. But there's one thing I always make sure that it's right on point and is my nutrition. So in today's video, I will share what I eat, when do I eat it, and why do I eat it on the bike during the ride. So I'm going out for a 100k loop, I will be with a buddy of mine, and we're just going to have fun, push some heavy watts, and eat a lot to keep our energy level high throughout the ride. This is everything that I bring with me on the bike today. And tip number one is actually doesn't even start on the bike and it should be about one hour to two hours before your ride and just have a good lunch. In my case today, I had a good sandwich with salami and prosciutto and cheese. This for me works. I know this is maybe not the best meal for cycling, but it's something that worked for me. I can eat that at 12 o'clock and at one when I'm getting on the bike I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling strong. And tip number two, actually start also an hour before jumping on the bike, and it's to start to drink water. You need to drink at least 500 ml of water before getting on the bike, if not a full liter. And to help with the hydration, I usually use all the time some electrolyte stab. I use those from Exact Nutrition, they call the Electro 3. So they, these ones do have caffeine in there, and uh, they're really flavorful, not too gassy, which is great, so I always pop one right before the start of my ride. All right, so we are 30k in and the pace is kind of fast, huh? How are you guys feeling? Yeah, feeling good, feeling good. You've been doing big pulls at the, the front, Matthew. Yeah, not too bad, honestly. Uh, just a bit tired from uh, my ride uh, yesterday. <laughs> Went out in the rain, but uh, other than that, it was not too bad. So now we are at break number one and it's time to, some, uh, to get some fuel for the ride to keep going. Yeah. What are you getting? Sweet and salty. I Sweet. just need a lot of salt, I realized, in <laughs> yeah. the rides. Salt, water, sugar, ready to go. It went for you at 30k in. Awesome, made good. I love these, the granola chocolate chip. I've never had those. Very good. They're easy to digest, I find. I find the cliff bar is very chewy. You need a lot of water to have those, so I love That's this. Water, and I have a banana for in 10k. And right, for me, at this point, 30k in, I'm not gonna go for an exact bar because those are way too sugary at this point and I want some consistency in my uh, what I eat so a cashy bar are my favorite for those kind of uh, early ride fuel this one is with chocolate chip and peanut butter so it tastes so good so for my 100k usually I bring three of these yep. <laughs> I bring one uh, honey stinger gel mm -hmm. uh, I usually have that as uh, Shal said a little bit later in the ride because the sugars, uh, they burn really fast, you know, they give you a lot of energy, but then you, you kind of crash. Yep. And the banana, always after around 50, 60K, the lactic acid, you know, you want that potassium. Do you carry a banana from home or you buy it in, during the ride? Uh, I try to, to bring it from home, you know, but sometimes... Because <laughs> it's yeah. free when it's mom that pays? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> C'est le temps de la banane. Ouais. <laughs> it's been enough time for Nathan. Very good. <laughs> All right, so we are now 51k in, and it's time for me to get just a little bit of power. So I will go with the exact bar. So these ones are full on sugar, 120 calories per bar. And this is just what I need right now to give back a little bit of energy back to the legs, so I can hang on and push harder. All right, 66Ks in. Just quick stop at the gas station for Gatorades. All the boys are getting 
water back yes sir uh, because staying hydrated is the key to push more watts keep that in mind so about 15k ago i had a freed bar but i feel like i should go for another granola bar uh, this time it's going to be a cliff bar you like it or you don't sometimes it's too big or too rough to eat for me it's just fine so just starting that second half of the ride that's where you want to still get big granola bars just because you don't want to stick only with sugar Seventy five K is in, power is great, feeling strong. Now Nathan, it's time for a quick gel. Yep. What you got? Strawberry kiwi. Now at this time of the training, that's where we want sugar, probably until the end. So no more consistent food. The last 25 K to go. But we'll make sure to refuel that sugar maybe twice before the end. Hey, he draft the you all can keep playing stuff. Everything you have in. So we are at kilometer 90 and we still have another 10k to get home but now it's more gonna be traffic and in the city ride but it's still a good time to eat a bar because when you're getting to traffic you want your mind to be alert uh, because there will be cars and there will be pedestrians and slow bikes and everything so keep eating i've burned right now 1600 calories throughout the ride and i did not eat 1600 it's a good time for another energy bar Again, I'll go with the exact nutrition fruit too with e beets. Love those bars. What I really like about the exact bars is they really melt into your mouth. When you're riding, chewing is really hard, so that's why having a bar that melts is a plus. But the benefit of not having a gel is it doesn't get messy into your pockets and into your hands. They're not gonna get sticky, so bars like those melt into your mouth. They're super great, tasteful. Eat more than you think. All right, we're now at the end of the ride. Thanks, Nathan. Right, well, awesome. Super good ride. Right. Take care. Can we park? Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah sure. park. I thought the guy was like making fun of us yeah. for <laughs> vlogging. Anyways, thanks, boys, for the ride. And see you soon. Take care. Ciao. All right, guys, so this is it for today's ride. And now, the most important part of nutrition when I do my big rides is I ended up with some protein. So here I just have some regular whey protein. Uh, this one's just chocolate flavor. And I mix it up with soy milk. I cannot live without this kind of soy milk. So I just pour myself a big glass of soy milk and then about two or three scoops, depending on, on how big the ride was, mix it up real good and then just chug this thing <laughs> Woo! that feels so good and in the event i am not home or i'm away uh, going back to the car and then we have to drive back i always carry those bars from exact nutrition again so these are the uh, protein they're called they are literally like a kit kat 15 gram of protein per bar it tastes so good and yeah recommend those after big rides when you cannot uh, just get the protein because these can get quite expensive if you eat them all the time so wrapping up this ride we did 97 kilometers 33 of average speed and i burned 1686 calories so quite a good number for a three hour ride and now if you have any more questions about cycling nutrition or rides uh, leave a comment down below i reply to every single comments on youtube do not hesitate to check out also my Instagram at ShallowWeMay. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already. I have a lot more cycling content coming in the next few weeks that you don't want to miss out. Alright, my name is Charles and I will see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace.